when you shield a room, it's like you get 100% compliance for your kids, for your family members. Like every single night you're going into that shielded space. And people who are electrosensitive, often they'll describe it as like, oh my gosh, everything's quiet. I, I finally feel stillness. Even normal people who don't necessarily feel the fields, you like... You, you walk into a room that's properly shielded and there's just this stillness about it. It almost feels like quiet, but, and especially if it's silent, if it, 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 you can hear quiet, you know, but there's also this stillness is how I would describe it of like your cells are finally just able to relax. And you saw a lot of us feel this when we go out into nature and finally after a, after a hike, you're in like a very remote place and you finally just sit down and you're just like, there's just this stillness about, about the space that you're in. And that's, that's what a properly shielded room feels like when, when you go into it. You know, we have a lot of customers from different walks of life, different health challenges that they have. And some of the, one of the common themes that has kind of started to emerge is uh, for women that are uh, hypothyroid, they have Hashimoto's, they've been diagnosed, they're on um, thyroid hormone, whether it's levothyroxine or Synthroid or, or a natural thyroid glandular, whatever. Um, there's, we've had three that I can think of and probably more that haven't really um, contacted us. Because we don't always hear about like, oh, I got off my thyroid medication. A lot of times people will will get uh, off of something or something will improve and they, they did the shielding, but they don't realize until later that, hey, uh, I got off my thyroid medication. They, don't, they didn't relate it to the fact that they had shielded their bedroom. But we have three people that have, have done that and it happens very, very quickly as well. So like even like the... The night of the first night of sleeping in a shielded room, one of our customers, she started getting hyperthyroid symptoms. Her heart was racing. She started getting hands that were sweating, and uh, and just her temperature was rising. and And uh, she was getting hyperthyroid symptoms when she was supposed to have Hashimoto's and hypothyroid, which the signs of that are like a low heart rate, cold hands, cold feet, poor circulation, uh, different things like that. And she was getting all these hyper symptoms. And so she didn't think about it until the next day. She's like, why did I not sleep very well last night? That shielded room was intense. It was crazy. And and then she's like, wait a minute, just put on, step back, put on my practitioner hat because she was a health practitioner. And she's like, oh my gosh, I was having all these hyperthyroid symptoms. Maybe I should uh, cut my dose of uh, thyroid medication in half and see how I do. And she did it again the next night. And she didn't have as severe as symptoms as the night before, but she still was a little bit, you know, still had an elevated heart rate and everything. She's like, oh my gosh, I'm going to cut it all the way out tonight. And she did that and she slept amazing. So she, it was like a, an immediate response that her body had. And I actually spoke with Dr. Ben Lynch about this, who you've interviewed many times. And he has a mm -hmm. talk with you in our, in our course, the EP fix course. Uh, and he was like, well, that makes sense because the thyroid is ramping up. It's responsible for ramping up that hormone to, to ramp up your metabolism. And, uh, and you're, if you're perceiving a stressor, your body has to fight off that stressor by ramping up the metabolism. And so you're using up a lot of your thyroid hormone in order to combat EMF stress. Hey, this is Nick, the EMF guy, you know. I am the co-creator of the EMF Circle along with my colleague, Brian Hoyer from Shielded Healing. What you saw today, this short video, is a preview of the longer interview that we did for our Circle members. Every month we have a masterclass like one of these or a Q&A session with me and Brian most of the time. So you get personal support and attention on your EMF reduction journey. So if you want to reduce EMF because you are personally sensitive or you're just trying to take precautionary measures to better your health and minimize the risk associated with wireless and other types of EMFs, then the EMF circle is the place to be. 
We have a ton of archives now. We have several months worth of Q&As that you can listen back to. Everything is pre -record is recorded. You can either join live or just listen to the replay. So we have a cars masterclass. We have a pr free protection masterclass uh, uh, also that we did. And we're going to have several other masterclasses moving forward. So we hope that you join us inside the EMF circle. Just visit EMF circle.com or click the link under the video to join us. I hope to see you there.